Next question is from Nick Zanace. What's a good way to program farmer's carries into your workout? What are the perks of going heavier versus walking farther? Oh yeah, this we're we're getting questions mm. like this because everybody's uh, a lot of people are enrolling Starting to do some strong. Yeah, training. everybody everybody's enrolling in Map Strong because uh, that's the program that's on sale. And so in that program, we programmed farmer walks uh, because uh, well, Robert Oberst uh, really liked them, said they're really important. Um, and now that I've done them regularly, uh, I 100% agree. Regardless of what your fitness goals are. Heavy farmer walks have tremendous uh, benefits for the, the entire body. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best exercises. I, I literally will put it in the top 10 now of exercises that I've done that have really worked the whole body, built strength, built muscle, and have improved my squats and my deadlifts and all that other stuff. But how do you program it? A lot of people have this question because it kind of works everything. Yeah. Where do I put it? Now, if you follow a MAPS program, we program it in for you. You don't have to worry about it. Or if you follow a full body workout, it really doesn't matter because you're working your whole body anyway. In, in which case, I would suggest doing farmer workouts after legs um, and maybe at the beginning of your back workout. But what if you do a body part split? Where would you put a farmer walk? Um, two places I can think of that it would make sense, either back day or leg day. I think those are the two days that I think farmer walks uh, would, would be programmed um, on a split. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like that. I also like it as a, a way to start my workout, too. Yeah. I mean, we talked about this the other day. This was one of the exercises primer. that we, yeah. I mean, that was one of the things that I was, uh, I originally, I didn't think it was a good idea because I thought, oh, it's going to exhaust me before I go do legs or I go do chest or I go do some other exercise. But because it's one of the single exercises that I can think of that literally wakes up your, in, your entire body, mm -hmm. every, from your neck all the way down to your toes, I love to, to start it with a workout. I'll do, you know, two or three nice heavy carries. And then when I go into any other exercise after that, I feel like I'm so primed. And it reinforces good posture. Right. So, so yeah, it stacks your spine. It gets all the joints uh, awake and, and alive. And so I do like it as, as a primer. And like you said before that, I thought it might exhaust me. But I've actually used this a few times uh, before going into my compound lifts and loved it. Uh, but I also like using farmer walks, uh, you know, for building volume. So we, we do this whole like these work sessions within, uh, you know, Maps Strong. And, and that's really to to build up this 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 tank, this motor, this ability to carry heavy things for longer uh, amounts of time. And I just find that so valuable uh, when you're going back into heavy lifting in your workouts. It's like you have that that endurance for all those lifts. So now I can get through those lifts more effectively because I just have this bigger tank oh know? dude uh one of the biggest benefits i got from map strong uh was my my recovery ability went through the roof because it builds your ability to handle more and more volume and workload so then i would go back to a, a, a another maps program and like my body was recovering so fast and i realized it was because strong helped uh, you know build that up now the last part he, he's asking about the perks of going heavier versus further hmm. Is there a, a recommendation that you guys have with it? Like, do you prefer to go heavier or go uh, further? So, yeah, it depends kind of like what I'm doing. But, like, I, if, if it's for building volume, I like to go a bit lighter and then for a further distance. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that I actually prefer to do it that way. I know, like, uh, in the strongman training, they, they do a lot of, like, sprints with it, with, like, heavier loads, and they kind of run with it. Uh, which has value in itself for that kind of more explosive, you know, type of strength. But uh, for me personally, I do the longer distance. Yeah, I, so I've used it as a strength building exercise where I go heavy and I'll go 50 yards, which is relatively short uh, distance to carry a weight. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten up to 450 something pounds uh, for that distance. No wrist straps, just my hands. And it's feels like it's it feels like a strength exercise like a deadlift yeah like so, it builds my body like a deadlift would so we're all kind of a little bit different so i i like in here because we have it's our place and i can take my shoes off i love to get barefoot in them and actually walk like really controlled so mm -hmm. I, yeah i'm doing it moderately heavy i'm not going like the heaviest i can i would do that it with sneakers and kind of moving relatively fast to the 50 yards and back like what sal's talking about but I, well, because I'm using it more like a primer to wake everything up, I like to get my shoes off, get barefoot, pull my, and like really think about my posture and like every step I take. So I'll go for a shorter distance, but I'll move slower and really think about my entire body, the way I'm holding my shoulders, where my neck is positioned, each foot. And as my, my foot's kind of striking the ground and kind of gripping the floor with my feet, 
to me, I that I love that. I think for most mm -hmm. people, that what you just said, Adam, is probably the most valuable way to do a farmer walk. I think if you're advanced, high level, you want to build maximal strength, you've already got good support, you've got good stability, you've been working out for a while, then you can have fun with seeing you know how heavy you can go mm -hmm. uh, for distance. In, in which case, then it becomes like I said, a, a, a strength and building exercise. But most people would benefit from farmer carries from doing it with the intent of being perfect, perfect with their form and their technique.